I'd like to tell you a story of a leg. It's a lucky leg. Maybe a little wonky, but it works. This is also the story of people who change the world for legs. People who make sure other legs never become wonky. Because in the 75 years since this leg became wonky, there's been millions of other legs which also became wonky. The leg in question became this way on the 27th of September 1949. The leg got polio. The leg went to hospital, but nothing could be done. The leg stopped growing, started twisting and bending. However, after lots of leg effort, it started to be somewhat useful, again for its owner. Lucky because so many others were made legless with a lifetime of crutches, calipers and wheelchairs. In 1955, Jonas Salk developed the first polio vaccine and by the 1970s nearly every rich country was free of this acute paralytic disease. But not so for many poor places. The Australian Clem Renouf, Rotary's international president in 1978-9, dreamt of eradicating polio from the Philippines and got off his ass and onto his legs to do something about it. Almost 30 years to the date after the leg in question got polio, on the 29th of September 1979, the then RI president, James L. Bomer Jr., put the first drops of a vaccine into a child's mouth. He ceremonially launched the Philippines poliomyelitis immunization effort. It was funded by Rotary's first Health, Hunger and Humanity Grants program, and that went on to ensure every child in the world would be immunized. Today, with the help of many legs, both government and private, Rotary has almost rid the world of the dreaded polio parasite. Even after more than two and a half billion children received the drops, there's still one or two cases in Pakistan and Afghanistan, with the Taliban agreeing to stop killing aid workers and giving the drops. Every child should be immunized in these two countries shortly. Rotary is putting a huge effort to achieve this, and as a leg, I'm asking you and your legs for help. Your host today will explain their plan to relieve you of a few dollars to finalize this effort. Every dollar you put in will be matched by the legs at the Bill and Belinda Gates Foundation. After all, this is Rotary's legacy.